I am the watcher and I watch and do not interfere unless I'm in the Disney Plus show. So I'm Jocelyn. <laughs> That's who you are. I knew you weren't the watcher. <laughs> I'm Rob. And we are Day Station Zebra. And today we're going to take a look at the watcher promo figure, which was um, something that you could buy at conventions this year and also was in the Memphis... Um, in the Memphis gift bag thing. Yes, it was. The, What's that? the TCB package. The TCB package. That's the taking right. care of business package. Taking care of business. That's yep. right. So uh, we have here uh, the Watcher, and this is the Watcher, like the armored Watcher guy. Mm -hmm. and I think he's meant to be the, the Disney Plus one from. He does look like the Disney Plus one. Yeah. Yeah. So absolutely. we're going we're gonna to open him up. From the What If series. The That's right. Series. That's what I was looking for. Disney, yeah. Disney so Plus. Let's open up the Watcher, which uh, we've already preemptively had a look at um so this is um this is him this is the watcher right here what is the watcher's real name uatu i believe yeah i thought so and he comes with a card look it's very bendy yeah it's it's bent as usual because yep. these little boxes i uh, can't keep the card straight so. i like his cape yeah should we put him on the close-up let's put him on the close-up okay. and let's have a look at him let's bring him over here put him on the close-up and Let's uh, take a peek at Mr. The Watcher, a.k.a. Yeah. the Iwatu. He, he does sort of uh, lean a little bit. He does. <laughs> I, don't, I think they all do that. I'm pretty sure that the one I have does it too. Yeah. Um, but I like the gold. They did a good job with the gold paint on him. Yeah, he looks pretty good. Um, he's extra bald. It'd be, n it'd be funny if he had like a shiny bald spot. <laughs> if, I was, if I was with kids, I'd have done that. Um, but he's got the, like this purple battle outfit. He's wearing gold armor. Um, and as someone who just watches... Yeah. Right? It's not something you would normally see. But if you watch the Disney Plus What If series, the animated series, you'd see yep. that he actually got involved. Spoilers. So. Yeah, he gets involved. He gets involved. Shall we take a look at his powers and abilities? Let's do it. And okay. And since his card was all bendy, yeah. we have pulled this up from HC Units. That's right. HCUnits.net. Hc .net. That's the one. Shout out to Clay. Best Heroclix site ever. Uh, yeah. in, in my opinion. It is very good. There's other good hero quick sites too. Uh, so the Watcher has Mystics and the Cosmic Team ability. And what's the set number, Rob? Wow, M23-003 for everyone keeping track at home. There you go. <laughs> and he's got some keywords. He's got Cosmic, Deity, and Herald. Yep. And his real name is? Uatu. As promised. And he's got some traits and some special powers. So do you want to yep. walk us through those? Sure. Let's take a look at the trait, which says, Knock you into another reality. This Spoilers. grants him knockback. And also, now, this is an interesting ability. When the Watcher hits, after resolutions, remove up to three non-debris terrain markers from within four squares of a hit character. Uh, then generate up to three terrain markers within four squares of that hit character. So, um, the first thing I want to point out is it says remove up to three non-debris train markers so it's your choice yeah you can up do to three zero one two three yep um and then you generate three more now these are the ones the ones that could be generated like single like a single yeah square, one by one a one by one type of that, terrain that's how i would ex expect it so it could be debris it could be blocking it could be um, water water yeah. uh, i'm not sure if there are any one by one elevated pieces i'm not sure they're not standard but does it say mm. standard or does it say it does not indicate so it just says terrain mm. markers so non debris it, terrain markers i don't think you can use the special ones i'm not sure i don't think you could but you know i'm sure there's somewhere out there that's going to tell us that a we're wrong or b, <laughs> b there's an errata so um now, yeah go ahead i was just gonna say it's really interesting because obviously terrain has become a very big part of the game since they brought yes. it back right or since they introduced it and you can use it to your advantage so you can like for example you knock him back perhaps he gets knocked back into a piece of terrain that's already there then you can remove that terrain and replace it with something else mm -hmm. you could just generate three pieces of blocking terrain and block somebody in you could like against the edge of the map or something now the timing of this is interesting because it does say after resolutions so if you chose to use knockback yes you would knock back the hit character and then af after uh, the resolutions of that knockback is when you would generate the terrain yes yeah because the knockback is part of the attack that's right mm -hmm. and you have to remove some terrain markers in order to generate terrain markers you absolutely have to does it uh so it says it says remove up to three and then generate up to three yeah, then I think is the is the key so trigger I, there. But what if you chose a zero for removing? 
remove up to and zero is up to three. I feel like I feel like we're we're rules lowering this. <laughs> so somebody somebody this smarter than us can tell us about I, how this works. I don't think you necessarily have to remove in order to generate. It's just part of it. You could say uh, I select zero um, to remove zero terrain markers. And I'm going to generate three. And then I'm going to generate up to three. Yeah. So. Let us know which one of us is right. Yeah. It's me. But okay. <laughs> Let uh, us know in the comments below. Uh, so he's got a special attack power called mm -hmm. I Must Break My Oath, mm -hmm. uh, which is Pulse Wave. And when the Watcher uses it, if only one character is targeted, he instead deals his printed damage. And he has that on his last three clicks there. Right. Now with this one, was in, I thought it was interesting because... Um, Pulse Wave targets everybody, right? Yeah, it targets everybody within range and line of fire. The pack says um, other characters within range can't use powers or abilities for this action. Make a range attack targeting all other characters within range and line of fire, including at least one opposing character. Using printed defense values for each targeted character, each hit character is dealt one damage instead of normal damage. And that is straight from the, the PAC. Yeah. Now... It's not a choice. Um, you have to target everybody, right? That's With right. Pulse wave. So when it says if only one character is targeted, that's basically if one character is within range. That's right. right? And although his range one is opposing character. seven, um, Pulse wave has a range of four. Actually, it's not opposing. It's only one character. That's right. So you could inadvertently do it to your own person if you. But why would you do that? Why would you choose to do that? Um, you know, people do all kinds of weird things in Hero Clicks that don't true. make sense to me, and then they show me these crazy things. I'm like, I never would have thought of someone, that. Someone, so. someone might elect to do that to their own character. But uh, basically, if only one character is within range, then the only one character is targeted. That's right. I think that's the only yeah. time that's going to happen. Yeah, and I think the important call out there, because when we were talking about this off camera before we got on camera. Mm -hmm is we were talking about that seven range, but Pulse Wave doesn't care about that. Pulse Wave That's says right. range four. It's a static range four as yeah. per the PAC. Yeah, so it just says range four. So mm -hmm. you could perplex it. So if you had a perplexer outside of the range four, you could perplex his range up and make it further, but um, you kind of don't want to because you want to just target that one character when you're on those clicks. The good thing with this um, Pulse Wave on these last three clicks is that you do have probability control. That's right. So chances are you're going probably going to get it and your probability control cannot be uh, outwitted because he's got cosmic ta that's right yeah and then he's a special defense power and it's uh on two of his clicks on click four and click seven and it says i've seen everything and yet what the hell is this <laughs> and it is a stop click and it says invincible and super senses so yep. basically he's got invincible all the way down his dial he does and then on the stop clicks he also gets super senses um, and then he starts with the charge into the sidestep, precision strike into the pulse wave, mm -hmm. um, and then prob all the way down. So, yep. uh, And then the improved targeting of elevation and hindering, so you can't stealth yeah. stealthily hide from him. That's right. So you could be hiding behind elevation and still pulse wave somebody, right? That's right. Yeah. The elevation Within doesn't four, matter. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and as I think we've already mentioned, his team ability is cosmic and mystics. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty annoying. Can't be outwitted, and he deals one damage if you can get any damage through to him. One that's penetrating right. damage, right? Or is yep. it unavoidable? Penetrating. Penetrating. Yeah. So if you've got that's invincible right. on the attacker, they wouldn't take any. Mm -hmm. But he's 125 points. That's the hard part to swallow. It is. It's more than a third of your build in a standard 300 point team, yeah. right? So he does have two stop clicks. Mm -hmm. He does have two targets. On his top click, he's dealing four damage. So, And he's got precision strike, which means you can't reduce below one. Mm -hmm. And it reduces the super senses roll. So, That's right. So there is that. Um, so he is dealing at least one to everybody he mm -hmm. targets. So that does help. Um, and then when he gets off at that first stop click, he gets into the pulse wave power. So mm -hmm. um, I think you have to put a lot of work into getting rid of him. You do. And he's Absolutely. not something you can really ignore, I guess, because that seven range dual target prob. Yeah. And he can just dual target with precision strike. Um, I suppose you could equip him. He's not giant or That's tiny, right. so you could give him something equipable. Some You could give him a sword to give him another rollout, like shape change with warlock or something like that. Mm hmm um, or you could probably equip him with something more exciting than that. Yeah. <laughs> if you're smarter <laughs> than me. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you could equip him. But then, I mean, then, gosh, then he's like 135 points. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot well, of points. He's a lot of points. I am interested to see what kind of team builds we're going to see with him. What type of team builds we're going to build with him. Yeah. We're not sure. Um, but it is a lot of points. It is. But and 
You know, I mean, we'll it, he doesn't have a lot of when when a character's that point heavy, you want them to be able to do multiple things. You want them to be able yes. to attack multiple times or position multiple times or mm-hmm. all of that. And the best he can do is dual target precision strike. Mm-hmm. So it's not bad, but yeah. is it is it good? <laughs> well, it is a twelve, and the damage is is four on the top click, and you can uh, you can prob yourself, which True. is really good. Yeah, and somebody else from within seven, and that yeah. within within the uh, elevation improved yeah. targeting elevation does make a difference. Improved targeting elevation is amazing. You can keep him hidden as long as you can, and he's just blasting other You're sniping other people characters. Yeah, yep. I think he's pretty good, but I think he is a bit costly. So we'll yeah. see. I I don't think you're going to see him on meta teams. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see though. Yeah. But anyway, that's what we got. That is the Watcher today. That is Uatu. Anything else you want to talk about with the Watcher? It's sad the Ultimate Nullifier is no longer around. <laughs> well, we could play him um, in Golden, I guess. Yeah, we could, or Silver, <laughs> technically. I guess Ultimate Nullifier would be in Silver. Yep. So, but uh, that's that's from the um, the Fantastic Four Future Foundation storyline, right? The Uatu with the Ultimate Nullifier on the Moon. I remember reading that one. Mm. There's at least that's the one I know. Okay. So, anyway, but yeah, he's he's cool. He's pretty. Yeah. I like his cape. They got some good movement on him there. Yeah. And I think that good. the um flavor text on the card uh did a really good job of of reflecting the Disney Plus What If show. So For sure. But we want to hear what you think. Yes. All of Let you us know in the comments below. Lovely HeroClix viewers who know more about HeroClix than we do. <laughs> so Probably. uh could you <laughs> like this video if you haven't done so already? We really appreciate that. that. Awesome. Subscribe to the channel and join over 700 of your HeroClix friends. Yes. And you can also reach out to us in all the usual places, which include all the social medias, as well as our email, DiceStationZebra at gmail.com. Mm-hmm. And then uh, finally, check us out on Twitch, where we do live stuff sometimes. Yes. And let us know live what streams. you would build with, with the Watcher. Is he any good? What would you do with him? What do you think? What are we missing? Yeah. Send us your team builds. We want to hear about it. We'd like to see it. So that's all we have for today. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you back next time for another unboxing. We'll say bye for now. Bye.